Hey, give me your money. What? <laughs> oh, this money? All this money in this wallet? Yeah, obviously. You mean this money? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. How, how much? It, no, just, yeah, give it all to me or I'll shoot. Oh, you're gonna shoot me with a pistol? Yeah, I'll do it. I will do it. Oh, I'm so scared, Mr. Big Man, with this big pistol. Oh, I, don't I'm, do it. I I'm hope gonna you do don't it. Shoot. I will do it. Oh. Bulletproof wallet. Fine craftsmanship here. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt. We are testing today some bulletproof wallets. It doesn't make much sense, but uh, I'm actually pretty excited about these. They're super thin, much thinner than I thought they would be. And they have a little strip of Kevlar on both sides to keep your money safe should a bad guy ever shoot you in the wallet. It also will keep your most prized possession safe, your left butt cheek, unless it's on the right, then it could be the right. It, one of your butt cheeks will be safe, unless you have two wallets, and you can protect both. A lot to think about. Let's do a gear review, okay? Everybody loves gear reviews. This is a wallet from Premier Body Armor, and it's got some credit card slots and some money slots and all that kind of good stuff. And some uh, Kevlar in here. This thing is level two. Level two will stop up to a 357 Magnum. We're gonna test it today and see if it does just that. Uh, I also have my Daisy Dukes on this, uh, this guy, Nipply Nate here. But he really doesn't fill them out. Like, you need to start doing some lunges or some squats, bro. Like, come on, looking weak. Starting off first with a 50 B. <laughs> just kidding, it's a 22 long rifle. Big surprise here. Okay, let's see what happens. Right in the buttocks. Yes, sir. Bit me directly in the buttocks. So, yeah, we caught that bullet. It went in right here through our little piece of black fabric and totally got stopped in our Kevlar. I kinda wanna open it up and see what that bullet looks like. Yeah, I can feel it. The bullet's right there, stuck in the Kevlar. We're not gonna get that out without really destroying it. Well, that means we need to shoot her again with something bigger. Something way bigger, like this 380. This is a hollow point 380 ACP out of my old bodyguard 380. These are actually my favorite pair of shorts too, so I'm really sacrificing a lot for you guys. Hope you appreciate that. Oh yeah. 380 went in right here. Did not come through. You can see where it started stretching those fibers, but did not go through it. Actually ripped that side a little bit. Oh yeah, I can feel that bullet. It's all opened up right there. All right, I gotta get that up. Ooh, hot, ha, how, how. Oh, I thought it was opened up. It's not. Wow, way to go, hollow point. Really did a good job of just compressing into a full metal jacket. Not very good. I was just actually thinking, so we stopped at 380. This is level two, but only like this side of it's level two. It's protecting your cache in here. So that's level two. But then on the other side, there's also level two over here. So you're gonna always have it like this in your pocket, doubled up, two plus two. That's level four. This should stop like a tank round or something. I don't, I don't actually know if that's how it works. I actually know it's not how it works, but it's kind of fun to talk about. Sorry, I'm just touching this guy's butt while I'm talking quietly to you guys. It's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, we're gonna shoot a nine millimeter full metal jacket out of this Bull Armory race gun straight at the man's booty. Giddy up, partners. Oh, that one hit real hard. Okay, uh, it definitely pushed the wallet into his butt. I think it caught the bullet, but uh, yeah, he's gonna have a, a little bit of bruising there. Okay, oh, got it. Stopped it, I kinda wanna see, you wanna, you wanna see his butt? Will I get demonetized with it? I'm gonna get demonetized anyway. Ah. There it is. It went in right there into his leg. Okay, butt's fine. Wow, it didn't even go through. Cool, I kinda thought that one might cause it hit so hard, but there it is, I can feel it, it's right here. Dang, so that nine millimeter squished way more than the 380 because it was going way faster. And it was a full metal jacket, it still squished that much. Okay, stopped a nine millimeter as well. That's pretty good. But we have bigger bullets. 45 ACP full metal jacket. That mag sure is gold. 
<laughs> oh, we got the gold 1911 coming in hot. All right, this also should not go through. We have them in the right pocket this time. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, his butt swallowed the wallet. Like it's the wallet's not here. I don't, I don't actually know how to. Oh my gosh. Oh. His butt literally ate the wallet. Oh shoot, my Daisy Dukes. Those are gonna be a little drafty now. These are actually the same pants that uh, you see me wearing at the end of all the Demolition Ranch videos um, in that outro. I've had these for a long time and I'm pretty sad that I just ripped them. Oh, hold on, it's coming. It's just like delivering a calf. You know, you just got a little bit of time. Oh, you just got a gentle pressure, just keep pulling. You might pull some things and rip some things, but eventually that calf will come out and you give birth to a beautiful little animal. Went in here, did not go through. Oh, it's still in there. I feel it. It's right there. Did not go through. Stopped at 45 ACP. Can I get it out of here? There it is. Looks just like the nine millimeter, but bigger. Dang, we're gonna have to go bigger. What does this butt look like? Oh, it's, it's not pretty. Don't don't look at his butthole. I uh, definitely want to tell you guys too, we're shooting the same wallet every time. This is the same wallet we've shot every time. Stopping all of these. We're, we switched pockets a few times. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to cut me some new cutoffs. Okay, we're going back to this pocket because it's better than the other one. We're gonna shoot it with a 38 Special. It's going faster than a 45. We should have a better chance of penetrating his butt now since we're moving fast. So, left pocket at the wallet. Can I get into this man's butt? No, that didn't do it. That for sure didn't do it. Not enough power. Okay, it's, it's in there a little bit. Got it. Yeah, the 45 went way deeper. Oh, ooh. Man, it actually, it's cutting that, but it actually did not come through. That one was close. Okay, it's closer than I thought. Look at that, Kevlar's coming through, but bullet is still on this side of the Kevlar. Yeah, for sure, we're good. We're good. There's our 38 Special right there. Not inside this man's butt. The cool thing about a Colt Python is not only is it chambered in 38 Special, it's also chambered in 357 Magnum. And for those who don't know a lot about guns, there's a reason you've heard of 357 Magnum and not 38 Special. Because 357 Magnum, is way more boss than a 38 Special. It ain't that special. All right, this is going real fast. This one has a pretty good chance of getting through that wallet. Like, probably a really good chance. Yeah. I think I might have heard metal. Wallet's gone again. Let me go digging in this man's butt. <laughs> that wasn't bad, it just came out pretty quick. Ah. Oh. oh yeah. Okay, so that one went straight through. Is there, there's not Kevlar on the other side. Oh, I thought there was. Okay, so there is only one layer of Kevlar. So what we're gonna do is actually shoot a 357 Magnum again at this thing at a new one. We have another wallet because this one was pretty compromised, so I wanna give it a fair shake. One more time in the butt. <laughs> okay, I went and got a second wallet and I was like, no, it does have Kevlar on both sides. I found it. The Kevlar's coming, it was coming out of his pee pee right here. Uh, it actually did not go through this. So it just pushed it out of the wallet through his leg and came out the other side. We're gonna go ahead and shoot it with 357 Magnum again though, just to be sure. Just to be sure. 357 Magnum. This is a fresh wallet going straight into it. So his butt just fell out onto the ground. That's never a good sign. Okay. Wallet's gone, like legit gone. Is it in his leg? There it is. It was in his leg. I just gotta find it. This is not looking good either. Okay. So it definitely 
I don't know that it's actually going through this body armor. I think it's just hitting it so hard that it's pulling it out. Yeah, for sure that's what happened. Look, this is where the first one hit. You can see it went through about half of that. And then it hit the second one, but did not go through. It just hits this so hard and he doesn't have a real body. So it just gives and rips this through the wallet. And then we're left with just our Kevlar pieces. So sort of counts. If we had someone who was brave enough to let me shoot this on their butt, it probably would... I mean, this that stops it, sort of. If someone has a 357 Magnum, I would not rely on your wallet body armor. One more try with 357. We have that same wallet we just shot, so it's been shot once. I just stuck the Kevlar back in it. We're going to shoot it here where it can't get sucked into his butt. <laughs> uh, I'm a child. 357 Magnum at the wallet center block. Uh, cut the cinder block in half. What happened here though? Oh yeah, that's a bullet right there. So, it caught it. <sighs> My bullet is right here in the first side. Did not go through. And it caught it. Even with the cinder block behind it. Not bad. Not too shabby. We have eight more brand new wallets. We're going to line them all up now and shoot them with a rifle round to see if it will stop. Because Kevlar is not good at stopping really fast moving rifle rounds. But maybe eight of them lined up, which is actually going to be 16 layers of that Kevlar. Could stop it. 5.56 five, out of the Terran Tactical AR. Place your bets, Demolitia. I'm saying this is going to go through, I, I think. Because Kevlar is just really bad at stopping AR. Here we go. Let's find out together. The cinder block did not break. Okay, so I can see, I guess the sixth one looks like it has the exit wound. Oh yeah, it's right here. Sweet. So yeah, that's eight. This is the seventh one and we caught it. Dang, that's crazy. So it stopped in the, look how tiny that little 22 caliber bullet is. So it stopped in the first layer of the seventh wallet, which makes it the 14th. 13 right. makes it makes it like the seventh wallet five five six right that's the one we just fired this is a 6.5 creedmoor what i want you to notice is the bullet is a lot bigger it's a little bit bigger in diameter but it's a lot bigger in length and weight but also look how big that case is that case is a lot bigger as well this thing's going fast six five creedmoor out of the daniel defense delta five we got a vortex scope and a silencer co suppressor on the end of it going straight at those wallets. This is for sure going through all of them, in my opinion. Still did not break the cinder block. Interesting. These are all stuck together. I mean, that bullet definitely passed through all these. It's hot, is it still? Oh, this spun it around. That's definitely going this way. I don't know what happened. And it chunked some wallets way over there. So I can't find the bullet. And I think something might have gone off to the left too. But there's pieces of the bullet here. I mean, that's pieces of copper and lead. This is a big old piece of copper and a bunch of lead around here too. Yeah, that's actually, that's most of it. So it did stop it. Actually, ow, that's really hot. That's probably about half our bullet. The other part of it just got broken apart. Nothing hit this. So... If someone is chasing you with a sniper rifle and you got eight bulletproof wallets, you're probably good. Stuff like this I think is very cool. Practical? I don't know, but cool? Yeah, like it'd be a cool thing to like buy for your, you know, your friend or something who is into guns and into body armor stuff. It's kind of neat. So anyway, if you guys know of any other stuff like that, stuff that doesn't really, you know, not, not normal stuff, but it's kind of neat that you'd like to see us shoot on Dimlin's Ranch, let me know because I'm interested in getting more stuff like that on the channel. Hit me in the comments below. These are mine. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Dimulous Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time.
It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. <laughs>